G'day everyone. Look, um, a lot of people have been asking me uh, how come I switched from Cooper STT Pros to these Federal Courageia MTs. Well, you're the reason basically. Um, so many people ask me over the years, you know, how come, Ruthie, you're spending so much money on tyres? You don't have to, mate. You can get them a lot cheaper. So, in the spirit of doing whatever I want these days, um, I tried a set of these Courageia MTs. I still am trying them, and at this stage, um, I thought I'd just give you a bit of a report. Just a few uh, impressions at this stage. The Federals and the STTs have done much the same mileage. At this stage, just under 10,000. And uh, wear rates wise, they're both wearing about the same, which I found pretty amazing. But um, I would say that the STTs have done some harder miles. They did a Cape trip, um, and these guys did a lot of mud and stuff up the middle of Australia. So, you know, it's similar, but not quite similar. But you're never going to get exactly the same on a tyre test, are you? Maybe over 30, 40, 50,000 Ks, I'll get a better or a different view. But just immediate response, okay? Because at the end of the day, you know, these guys are probably going to cost you about $460, $470. And these fellas, you might get them around the 280 So that's quite a lot of difference when you buy five tyres, obviously. Um, however, what have I found out? Well, first of all, the Coopers are a 10 ply tie and the Feds are an eight. Does that make a difference? Amazingly enough, the big difference at this stage is when you let these down to 16 PSI and these, uh, the Coopers are a lot softer and they bag out a lot better. That's got, I guess, an awful lot to do with the diagonal uh, cross patterning of, of the um, you know, actual carcass of the tyre itself. Um, the Coopers are much better on a wet road. They hang on a lot better. They steer profoundly better. Um, and they're also quieter. In fact, the feds are the first tyre that I've heard the roar of uh, in Milo, which is not exactly the quietest truck on earth. Um, so they're a noisy tyre, you know. But in the dirt, in the mud, these things, these federals have proven to be really good. They uh, cut like nothing on earth. Uh, to some degree, I think part of that's because they self-clean a lot better having bigger gaps. How's that going to go in the long term? I don't know. Um, that's what we'll have to wait and see. Am I unhappy with the Coopers? No, not at all. Um, they're still a far better tyre. Are they worth a grand more for five of them? Well, that's kind of up to you to work out. Am I happy with the Federals? Yeah, I am. I really am. Off-road, they're just unreal. Um, those are sort of the immediate differences, I guess. Um, and really, it's just going to take time to tell. So I'll keep running these and, and I'll whack the Pro STTs back on and then we'll see where we go from there. Try and wear them out too. And then we'll be able to do a direct comparison on mileage as well. It's a very confusing world, the tyre market. When the STT Pros came out, uh, Coopers and me raved about the silicon content um, and the construction method using silicon throughout the rubber, which is something kind of new, certainly in the off-road tyre segment. Now, I know a fair bit about this because I work with motorbikes too, where silicon's been a big deal for a long time because such a small contact patch deserves the best. Um, and I've got to say that these things have stayed chip-free and lived up to their name beautifully. These feds are also chip-free. But you know what? They're not chipping up either. Not at this stage. And also, of course, I'll probably give these and these a run on Milo 2, which has already got a lot more power than Milo 1. All right, guys. Well, that's the reason I'm running the feds, because so many people said, you know, hey, you should give them a go. Uh, well, I have. Let's see how this tyre comparo goes in the long term. But for now, well, you make your choices. There you go. There's enough difference to warrant a difference in price, without a doubt, even at 10,000 Ks. Um, how does that span out for you? Well, it depends on what you're doing and where you're going. Righto, well, that's it for now. Take care. I'll let you know how they go.